This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. A DeSoto teen and his dog are found dead in a storm drain. WFAA.com reports from DeSoto. A 14-year-old DeSoto boy and his dog were found dead in a storm drain Monday morning. Damien Blade was last seen with two dogs about 4 p.m. Sunday. DeSoto police were called later that evening after one of the dogs came home muddy and wet without him. His family reported him missing about 10 p.m. Sunday. Officers began a search overnight for Damien, who liked to explore area culverts and storm drains. Neighbors said police went door to door. Damien's body, along with the body of the other dog, were found in the storm drain Monday. The investigation is ongoing, but police said they believe Damien drowned. They are awaiting the results of an autopsy. Damien was in the eighth grade. One person is dead, and at least 12 people are missing after heavy rain and devastating floods pounded the cities of San Marcos and Wimberley. KVUE.com reports from Hayes County. In Hayes County over the weekend, the flash flood destroyed more than 350 homes and left up to 1,000 residents homeless. San Marcos police believe the 12 people missing may be part of one large group from surrounding areas that were in town for Memorial Day celebrations. It's unclear how many were adults and how many were children. Eight of the 12 people missing were visiting from Corpus Christi. Floodwaters rushing through the Blanco River in San Marcos and Wimberley took everything downstream, sending residents running for higher ground. Aerial crews are searching for the missing. They're using drones, geographic information system mapping, and thermal imaging. More than 50 people from the Texas Task Force are forming search teams on the ground. Public works teams are also deployed by the state. According to police, those teams will be in Hayes County for at least the next two weeks. The Texas Senate continues its efforts to restrict teen abortions. The Associated Press reports from Austin. A hotly debated tightening of abortion rules for Texas teenagers, which has already cleared the state house, is slowing activity to a crawl in the Senate when Democrats are using logistical tactics to stall a vote. Soon after discussion of the bill began Monday, opponents raised technical objections, delaying work. Wednesday marks a key deadline to pass bills in the upper chamber. The proposal is being considered further limits the judicial bypass process, which enables teens to have abortions in extreme cases when they can't get the required parental consent. Opponents say it unfairly harms young women when they most need help. A priority for Republicans who control both chambers, passing the House nonetheless took hours. The Senate looks to be in a similar situation. This is June Key, SkyServe News.